Hello everybody, it's Pond the Frugal Streamer, and I have a sneaky little tutorial for you. OBS 25 has added a new feature that takes advantage of other services. So now you know I'm a big Streamlabs OBS guy. It's been promoted on my channel now for two years, and I love Streamlabs OBS. And I think for a lot of streamers, it's a great option. But there's a few people out there that have some performance issues with Streamlabs OBS, and sometimes it just doesn't want to work well. And I think... Uh, in that case, a lot of people that have these performance issues have switched over to OBS Studio. The problem is, is that before, you know, it was a pain in the butt to get those themes that you like so much in Streamlabs OBS to get installed in OBS Studio. Well, no more. Streamlabs OBS themes are now very easy to import into OBS Studio 25 due to a new scene collection importer that they have put into uh, OBS Studio. So you have to have the latest version of that first. But also, say you, you have a new theme that comes out by one of your favorite designers like Own TV or my favorite, Nerd or Die, and you like it a lot, but you don't want to necessarily purchase it. Say you have a, like me, I have a Prime subscription on Streamlabs OBS, and I want to use one of those themes in OBS Studio. Well, you can now do it very easy, and that's what I'm going to show you. But first, but before we get into the videos, make sure you hit me up on my socials. I provided links to everything down below in the description, but I am on Twitter at Frigal underscore streamer. Make sure you check out my Twitch. I mainly stream on weekends, twitch.tv forward slash the Frugal Streamer YT. And if you want to join my Discord, okay, please do. It is a great tool. If you need support, it's a great way to get support there for free. And it's just a great place to learn about streaming, to talk about streaming, and to learn about some of the trends and deals that are out there for streaming equipment. All right, so make sure you hit that up. Look in my channel banner at the top. Again, all the links are up there too, including Discord. You can check them out there. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so... the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring up Streamlabs OBS. Okay. So here I have this theme installed. It's the good vibes by own TV. And what you'll need to do is, is you can go to their themes library by clicking on this icon here. You will then go into their library and can see what is all available. Now I have a prime subscription, so I get access to all of these graphics, all these new ones, everything is available to me at no additional cost. So it's easy to do. All you need to do is click on one here and install the overlay. And you'll get every single thing that they offer for graphics inside of this package. Okay. And once it's done, it will set up the scene collection for you right here. Now, what you don't what we don't want to do is we don't want to go and edit anything in here. I mean, you could if you wanted to. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this over into OBS Studio. All right. So now... What we'll do is we'll close Streamlabs OBS. And then we will bring OBS Studio over. And I apologize for the tunnel vision. But it is all for a purpose. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go to Scene Collection. And we want to go to Import. And it's going to give you a little pop-up. Okay. And you can see all these different packages that I have uh, available, but you can search through it. Now this was the good vibes one that I have. Um, we can go ahead and install that one if you want. And let's see if we can find the other one, LED. So that's the other one. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll just hit import. And they are already available. So now what I need to do is I need to bring up, and I think my webcam might go away and that's fine. But let's bring up the LED by Own TV. All right, so you see it is imported all of the different graphics, all the media files, even the text is there. You just have to set it up yourself. Uh, you get a stinger transition between each of your scenes. I mean, it's perfect. It really is super easy to set up. Uh, it's a great addition to OBS Studio 25. And you have, I mean, you can't beat it, right? 
And it's kind of dirty, I think. But hey, whatever. Super easy, super simple. It's kind of kind of sneaky. And I don't know how long this will be available. I imagine Streamlabs OBS will figure out some way to block it. Uh, but then again, maybe they won't. I don't know. I mean, like for me, I'm already paying for them anyway. So what do they care, right? But if you you know if you're using their free stuff, uh, I can see where that be can become an issue. But regardless, there's a lot of people that want to try OBS Studio that have been on Streamlabs OBS and want a little bit better performance and want a bit a little bit more control to their stream. And this is a way to get your themes over to stream or over to OBS Studio without a lot of hassle. Okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Again, make sure you check me out on my socials. Descriptions down below. All right, guys, thank you very much. Have a great week, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.